वेलकम बैक है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शेयरिंग यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल यू के एफ सी स्पेड एफ एस आर थ्री फेम जनरेशन मॉडर्न हेटमैन वर्ल्ड ऑफ असैसिनेशन एंड अनचार्टेड लेगेसी ऑफ थीव्स कलेक्शन आई एल बी ऑल्सो टेस्टिंग फार्मिंग सिमिलेटेड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एस एफ एस आर थ्री हैज़ बिन ऑफिशियली एडेड टू डैट गेम आई एल बी टेस्टिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज गेम्स ऑन माई विंडोज पी सी दैट हैज़ एन आर टी एक्स टू जीरो सेवन जीरो सुपर जी पी यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शनिंग एंड सेटअप प्रोसेस ऑफ लू कैफ सी स्मार्ट इट वर्क ऑन ऑल ऑफ द जी पी यूज इंटेल ए एम डी एंड एनवीडिया यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब टू लू कैफ सी पेट्रियन पेज इन ऑर्ड टू गेन एक्सेस टू दर डिस्कॉट सर्वर वे द मॉड फाइल्स आर प्रेजेंट दे मंथली पेट्रियन सब्सक्रिप्शन कॉस्ट अराउंड सिक्स यू एस डॉलर्स आई किक थिंग्स ऑफ विद हिटमैन आई ऑन द एपिक गेम्स वर्जन ऑफ वर्ल्ड ऑफ असैसिनेशन फर्स्ट आई रन द गेम विदाउट फ्रेम जनरेशन आई एल यूज विंडोज टूल बार टू शो यू द परफॉर्मेंस मेट्रिक्स आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द मॉड इफ यू यूज आफ्टर बन ओवले द गेम विल क्रैश दे इज द टूल बार क्लिक ऑन द मॉनिटर आइकन गेम्स लॉन्चर विल स्टार्ट अप जस्ट क्लिक ऑन प्ले ग्राफिक सेटिंग फुल एच डी रेजोल्यूशन आई हैव इनेबल डी एल एस एस सेट इट टू क्वालिटी नो एक्सेस टू फ्रेम जनरेशन ए ट्रेसिंग ऑन ऑल ऑफ द सेटिंग्स हैव बिन सेट टू हाई मोशन ब्लड डिसेबल दैट्स इट दिस एजेंट फोर्टी सेवन हैव यू गेटिंग अराउंड फोर्टी सिक्स एफ पी एस द ग्राफिक्स लुक स्टनिंग गॉर्जियस लाइटिंग रे ट्रेसिंग इन ऑल ऑफ इट्स ग्लोरी चेक आउट द रिफ्लेक्शन क्वालिटी ऑन द फ्लो सो फोर्टी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी फोर एफ पी एस सो मैनी नॉन प्लेबल कैरेक्टर्स है ना आई शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल यू कैफ सी स्मार्ट इन दिस के At the time of recording this video the latest version of Luke FC's mod is 0.10.1 it is not going to work with Hitman you need to use an older version of the mod this one 220 version 0.7.3 beta installation instructions have been provided by Mesa on Luke FC's Discord server we also need to use a D3 D12 proxy file and execute this registry file enable signature override its download link has been given you can download the D3 D12 proxy file from this website Just click on dxgi.zip file. These are the instructions. First, we need to install the mod. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Then we need to install D3 D12 proxy. Execute the registry file. Make sure no TUML file from a different version of the mod is present in the games directory. Upon launching the game, its launcher will start up. Just disable any upscaler and frame generation settings. From the in-game menu, we can enable DLSS and frame generation. These are the files that I just downloaded. Execute the registry file. Extract the contents of both of the archive files. Copy all of the files. Don't need to copy the registry file. We need to paste these files in the games install directory. And just click on the three dots under the games box art then click on manage then click on the folder icon here open retail folder paste the files in this directory now i'll enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting right click anyway on your desktop and then select display settings then click on graphics click on change default graphics setting enable this toggle under hardware accelerated gpu scheduling That's it we are ready to run the game click on options now just set adaptive super sampling technique to off make sure frame generation is disabled save play a black window with some logs will pop up indicating that the mod is working in game settings from here i have enabled dlss i have set it to quality now i can enable frame generation as you can see rest of the settings are left as this Load it the same sequence, and here we are getting around 92 FPS. Performance almost got doubled. 80 FPS now. I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Good to see you. How lovely to see so many faces. Familiar faces. I'm observing some minor artifacts around the bald head of Agent 47. I'll be honest. In this game, DLSS produces a better-looking upscaled image than FSR3. I'm just hard killing people now. Take out my gun.
75 to 80 fps i will be trying out the next game i own the steam version of uncharted legacy of thieves collection first i'll run it without frame generation i'll just run uncharted 4 even in this game if you use afterburner overlay with the mod installed the game will crash select uncharted 4 game settings using the ultra preset display settings full hd resolution dlss enable using its quality preset vsync off motion blur set to nil that's it yeah the game has started here we are getting around 114 fps hitting the gpu bottleneck Auto graphics look stunning i'll just drive around for a brief moment fps is staying around 110 i hope i'm not lost it should be the correct path I need to be careful. Look at the beautiful scenery. Ninety-five to one hundred and ten FPS. Now I'll show you how to install the mod. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. We'll be using version zero point ten point one of the mod. First, just extract the contents of common mod file archive file. I have already done that, copy these two files, paste them in the game's install directory, select the game in your steam library, right click, go to manage then click on browse local files, this is the game's install directory, paste the files here, this game uses FSR version 2.1, just copy the ASF file corresponding to it, I have already extracted the file, there it is. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. We are ready to run the game. A black window with some logs will pop up, indicating that the mod is working. Using the same settings as before, DLSS set to quality. Ultra preset. Loaded the same sequence. Here we are getting around 144 FPS. Maxed out my monitors refresh rate. This is amazing. Game is running so smoothly. Okay, game's interface is flickering as you can see. Subtitle text is also flickering. We have seen this problem in many other games. I can observe the added amount of smoothness. I hope this flickering issue gets fixed with the future updates. It may not be possible for this game as it does not support frame generation. DLSS frame generation. Frame generation support in this game has been added by replacing FSR2 okay, with FSR3. Don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! Oh my god. The bridge good. almost collapsed. Excellent performance. Now I'll be testing the next game. We'll run the PC Game Pass version of Farming Simulator 22. Display settings, full HD resolution using the very high preset. Click on advanced graphics settings here. We have access to FSR 3. I have set it to quality. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. High to very high settings. This is my farm harvesting the field. Here we are getting around 114 FPS. What's with the GPU utilization? Only 60%. That's not a good sign. Graphics look nice. There's my character. Now I'll enable the frame generation setting. Open the advanced graphics setting. Frame generation set to on. Loaded the same sequence, harvesting the field. Here FPS increased up to 144. Maxed out my monitors, refresh it. Unfortunately, the game's interface is flickering. Now we know that this problem is not limited to games running using the FSR 3 mod. The problem can occur even in games that have official implementation of FSR 3, just like Farming Simulator 22. I hope the developers fix this problem with the future updates. As far as I know, with official FSR 3 frame generation implementation, 
In order to prevent the flickering of the game's interface, the developers run it at half of the native frame rate of the game. We have to wait for the game's future updates. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.